What's going on guys? Jake here from The Fly Fiend. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a pigtail nymph. I've primarily been fishing this for salmon and steelhead uh, since fall is coming very fast. Um, a lot of these fish are starting to stack up and push up into um, rivers to either spawn or get ready to spawn. Uh, at this time I like to throw some bigger flies. This is a size 8. Um, it's a pretty good stonefly imitation or just bigger nymphs. Um, overall it's just a big kind of flashy but subtle fly that um, gets down in front of fish's faces and they can't miss it. So I'm gonna get a fresh hook in the vise and we'll get going with this tutorial. So the hook we have in the vise right now is a partridge Patriot barbless uh, check nymph hook. This is a size 8 and I have that paired up with a 4 millimeter uh, black nickel bead and I have about 8, eight to 10 um, wraps of 0.015 um, lead free wire. The thread I'm going to be using is just UTC um, 70 in black and I'm going to start my thread right behind this lead. I'm just going to build up a little taper there just to help blend the whole body once it gets to that point. So I'm going to take some thread wraps down the shank to about a little bit further than the hook barb would be. And we're going to tie in our tail. And for our tail we are just going to be using some natural um, partridge. So I'm just going to get one feather here. Get about six to eight fibers for that tail. I want to try to keep this tail a little, a little bit shorter, just like so. Now I'm just going to bring my thread up, cut out my stem. Now I'm just going to bring my thread up to where that lead ends. And we're going to tighten our rib part. And for that, we're just going to be using some UTC 70 or UTC ultra wire. Sorry. Um, this is actually in a color copper brown. I really like this color. I've been tying a lot of flies with it lately. And um, it's kind of just like a subtle color between uh, brown and a copper. And it still has a little bit of flash. So I'm going to get about six inches off the spool here and I'm going to tie this in on the shank facing towards the camera and I'm going to put it right behind these lead wraps so it doesn't create a bump. A couple loose wraps then you can just like pull it down Till it's even. Tie that in nice and tight. Then just bring it back up. Just like so. For the body part, we're going to be using some lateral scale. This is um, black, black lateral scale. And what I like to do is cut it. So the bottom point is on a little angle like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to help you get your first wrap uh, because this stuff's kind of thick. It's going to get your first wrap around um, very smooth. And it's, um, it's going to just help taper the, uh, the fly. So once that's tied in, I'm just going to build this up a bit so you pretty much just want this one um, tapered you don't want any bumps as you can see that I took the uh, the thread wraps and I've tied everything kind of behind it so there's not a bump there you want it to be very smooth going all the way up so I'm going to grab my lateral scale here 
And as you can see, with that first wrap, um, by tapering it a bit, it helped to get that first wrap around very nice. Now I'm just going to just make some overlapping wraps, creating this body. I like to pull pretty tight on this stuff. It's, it's really strong stuff, so it's not going to snap on you or anything like that. And um, the harder you pull on it, it kind of like um, lays flat almost. You won't have any uh, anything sticking up like you would uh, regular like mylar um, tinsel. With this bigger stuff, you kind of get it um, folding over top of each other. So at this point, I'm going to grab this wire, start it right at the base. Stuff's kind of slippery. So I'm just going to make two. I'm going to make about eight wraps here, touching wraps as you would like a copper john. I'm just trying to keep these all nice and tight together. And if you have a little gap, you can just use your nail and push it back. So right there. Now instead of keep going, I'm just gonna pull this a bit and just create an open rib. Some nice open spiral wraps here. It's kind of hard to space them because they just want to fall in the groove of that lateral scale. So I'll bring that up, tie that off nice and tight. I'm just going to helicopter that out. Now I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of Loon Outdoors fluorescing flow. All I kind of want to do is just protect this um, lateral scale from fish's teeth. Since I am fishing for salmon and steelhead, um, they're a little bit more aggressive. They have some bigger chomps on them, so I like to uh, try to make these as durable as possible so they just don't rip them apart. I'm just going to hit this with my UV curing light. Make sure that's all nice and cure. Now we're just going to tie in a wing case and for that we're just going to be using the same black lateral scale. I want to make sure this is right on top. Just like so. Now for our dubbing, for a thorax, I'm going to be using some Hairs Ice Dub. This is in black. I'm just going to uh, dub a nice tight noodle here. I'm just going to dub a pretty healthy uh, thorax. Now we can tie in our leg section. And for that, we're just going to use the same partridge in natural. And I'm just going to get my feather like so. Took all the fluffs off the side. And I'm just going to cut out a notch in the middle. that I can put this whole feather on top like that. Pinch it with my two fingers. Take a couple nice firm wraps to lock it in place. Then you can just use the stem and pull it to your desired length. So for me, I just like to pull it to the 
back of the body. That's pretty good proportion measurement. Then you can just come with your scissors and cut out the rest of that feather. Just like so. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit more dubbing in and this is gonna cover the uh, the butts on the, uh, the partridge. And it's gonna um, help lay them back a bit just so they're not sticking out like wings. Since I did put some pretty good pressure on them with my thread. So I'm just gonna finish building that up there. Take a couple nice tight wraps. I can bring my wing case over. Make sure it's nice and straight. Take a couple nice wraps in there. I can come in and cut that out. I'm just gonna throw in a four or five turn whip finish. Pull that nice and tight. I cut my thread out. And I kind of just clean up some of these longer fibers here. Just like so. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of Loon Outdoors clear fly finish and thick. This is gonna add a lot more durability to that wing case and that thorax and the thread wraps so it doesn't get blown apart. So I'm just gonna build up a little nice clear coat Let it settle for a sec. Then if you need to, you can use your scissors or a bodkin to kind of make sure that it's all covered. It's like so. You can hit that with your light. Then I'm actually gonna come over this with um, Loon Outdoors fluorescing, fluorescing flow as well. This uh, just adds a little bit more pop once it gets down to those deeper holes it, uh, it's a color correct color corrector, so I'm just gonna put that on it, and you can see that it uh, it just pops a little bit more. So once that's cured, you'll be good to fish. So like I said, I, uh, I fish this a lot for um, salmon, steelhead. Um, it's just a big kind of flashy fly um, just to get in front of their face. Uh, and they, they definitely don't miss it. So tie a few up. Let me know how, how they work. Let me know if you guys catch anything on them. Thanks a lot again for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the fly, just drop that down in the comment section below and I will answer your questions. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.